I'm Dr. Jess Mason, and we're going to watch Dr. Stephanie Benjamin remove this fish hook that this patient unfortunately stepped on. There's a few ways to do this. Our basic approach for this one is to push it out to reveal the barb, snip the barb off, and then pull it back out the way that it went in. So you're going to get your supplies. Let's get some lidocaine, needles, scalpel, skin prep, and of course, wire cutters. Cleanse the skin where you're going to inject and administer lidocaine at the site and where you're going to push it through. First, we're rotating the hook so the tip is pointing upwards towards the skin's surface. Now you're gonna push it through while pulling upward tension so you don't push the hook deeper into the foot. We're giving a little bit more pain medication here at the site, and sometimes you have to make a small incision here to get the barb through the skin. Now, the most important part of this entire procedure is that everyone in the room wears eye protection because as you cut this barb off, that little bugger is going to shoot off like shrapnel. And for an extra measure of safety, just go ahead and put a piece of gauze or a clear eye shield over the wire cutters as you snip. Now you can pull it back out the way that it went in and soak in the glory while your patient soaks in a tetanus shot.